Hey beautiful people, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler, and this is the weekly Capricorn reading. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you will find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it, whether that is today, next week, next month, trust in divine timing. Okay, so I think we're going to use the Inner Child Tarot deck this week for the beginnings of the reading and then I'm going to use the Light Seer Tarot and some Oracle cards when um, we go for the extended. Okay, so let's get the Inner Child Tarot because I've just remembered they're in my bag when I started talking. So, Capricorn, what do we need to know? Let's have a look and see. feel like I want to say take it in your stride just breathe everything is going to be okay I feel there's quite a lot of manic energy around you bringing up fears but remember your fears aren't about this current situation your fears are because of the past and I feel like there's emotion coming with those fears remember you're not upset with this situation you're upset with the past feels really like there could be some high intense emotions this week just keep remembering to breathe Capricorn okay so then we've got the four of hearts yeah and she's sat there crying okay don't keep the things to yourself which are worrying you speak up say what you think ask the questions whatever you need to do to make yourself feel better. It's okay to speak from your heart. It's okay to voice your feelings. It doesn't mean by voicing your feelings you're weak. It doesn't mean that you're letting the past win. By voicing your feelings you're dealing with the past and making sure you're feeling happier in your current situation. I also want to say that Remember you are supported. There's a lot of spiritual support around you. For those of you that get tickling in your hair, that is just one sign that the angels and spirit are letting you know that you're not on your own. Okay. It really does feel very much like I want to tell you to speak up. Don't feel crappy. Don't feel crappy, Cappy. Um by not voicing your opinions it's important to voice them it's important to speak up and i want to say it's necessary you've got to find that peace within your heart and by voicing how you're feeling when in the past you wouldn't have said anything and you did have just gone along with whatever it's important not to do that now it's important to do what you need to do when you need to do it and to keep yourself in the best place you can okay the next card we've got the six of hearts so there's definitely a new beginning okay yes i feel like we've we've got the four of hearts here where there's upset and fears because i do feel it's the fears bringing the emotion but you're actually going to have to voice them. Then the Six of Heart is bringing that energy of new beginnings. You've got the stork there. It is something growing into something beautiful. It's just this beginnings bit, which feels stuck. Um, stuck, maybe not stuck unnerving would maybe be the better word unnerving um but it is i want to say it's a beautiful new beginning okay it is the start of something good this is just little bits of teething problems okay 
Then we've got the Seeker of Wand. You know the saying, be careful what you wish for. This feels like one of those situations. It feels very much like you need to be mindful that you've actually asked for this. You've wanted this. And now it is becoming your reality. This new beginning, which you have been waiting for with a significant person which will change your world and the pot of gold always falls at the end of the rainbow and it really does feel like this is your pot of gold moment this beautiful new beginning it is very much It's the fear because it's becoming your reality and then we've got the guide of hearts and that is really just your confirmation that there is that spiritual support around you keep asking for that your for their help accept their help they've been bringing this situation into fruition now and it's time to make it happen um it's time to become your reality I want to say call in Archangel Michael to ask for the help you need. Call in Archangel Michael to ask for that inner strength, inner courage to speak your truth and surround you in that calming energy so you can get your point across calmly. There's no point in getting upset because it, the, these, this beginning, this unnerving bit isn't actually as bad as it's feeling it's because there's triggers from the past it's feeling worse it is safe to love this person okay i feel like i want to go to the extended reading now to see more about this beautiful new beginning if this is where you leave me then thank you so very much for joining me Please do like and comment on the video if you feel drawn. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I truly do appreciate each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Namaste. Bye.